Imagine this. Robots Tanya than this full stop being injected into your body to fight deadly diseases. It may seem like science fiction, but it could soon be science fact using this. Hi, I'm Lena and this is a nanobot. A nanobot is a nano-sized robot. And don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your eyes. The reason you can't see them in my hand is because they're only a few nanometers wide. And a nanometer is a billionth of a meter. Let me put it this way. This is how thick my hair is. This is a speck of dust. And this is the size of the nanobots we're working on. In fact, 64 billion of these robots could fit into a single raindrop. But why do we want to make things that are so small? And how do we do that? Structures like the nanobots don't function like any robot you've seen before. There's no controller or pre-programmed onboard computer. But they do work like an animal and leaf that you've seen before. All right, let me explain. Look at the way water droplets form on this lotus leaf. This is because the leaf surface is made of tiny nanostructures that cause water to react this way. These droplets collect dirt on the leaf surface and then roll off, making the lotus leaf self-cleaning. And the gecko's ability to climb up anything but Teflon is thanks to the nanostructures in its hands. So this got us thinking. What if we could copy these nanostructures and rebuild them for human users? Like a protective layer on glass windows to make them self-cleaning. And what if we could create nanostructures that could climb through our body and repel diseases? So we're essentially hacking the building blocks of nature. But how do we construct these tiny nanostructures? Well, you need some very, very precise machinery. This is the Orion NanoFab Helium Ion Microscope. It fires out a focused ion beam from a tip which is three atoms wide. To put that in perspective, a single grain of sand has 800 billion billion atoms. The tip is the width of just three, and I'm selecting one. And the ions fired from the tip are used to carve nanostructures into almost any material, including copper and gold. Now admittedly, there's still a way to go before we have nanobots fighting cancer. But every day we're taking tiny steps towards huge breakthroughs. And with new machines like the helium ion microscope, the future is at our fingertips. From healthcare to energy production, and even invisibility. Advances in nanostructure research across the world are making the impossible possible. So keep your eyes peeled for the next big discovery in this tiny field. <laughs>